Welcome to TFR Let's Talk. I am your host, Sopnil Bhartia, and my next guest is Mauricio Salatino, Kubernetes Instructor for Learned Kids. Mauricio, it's great to have you on the show. Thank you very much, Swapnil. It's a pleasure to be here. Before we talk about Learn Kids, I would love to learn a bit about yourself also. Tell me about your background. Yeah, so I'm a software engineer. I've been working with Java applications, large Java applications for the last 12 years. I used to work for Red Hat and I was working on the JWoS middleware kind of like uh, department in Red Hat, which basically it's all about building frameworks for other engineers to use. And then I've been working in the last five years for different companies that basically are moving from being kind of like a large Java product to more like a managed service uh, running on top of Kubernetes. And yeah, uh, that's pretty much kind of like my experience, uh, just helping companies to go to that like, uh, you know, software as a service approach, running in the cloud and migrating from kind of like more like a Java background. Now let's talk about this course a bit. Uh, uh, what is it all about? So Learn Kids is it's all about training and creating material for people to learn about Kubernetes and basically learn this basic set of concepts that they need in order to use most of the cloud uh, platforms that are available nowadays. Uh, and basically what uh, we specialize is into going and doing these workshops for entire teams so they can level up their knowledge and then they can just go and implement you know, their solutions on top of it. Uh, we focus on that piece, that specific piece. We don't do consultancy, we don't do anything else. We just try to help people to speed up and to understand the basics so they can build their own things. And we try to guide them into the, the projects that they need to see in order to copy or at least try to understand how other people uh, has uh, solved a similar problem before. In this kind of like company and doing these trainings and public workshops as well, we met a lot of people from all over the place. And uh, we you, it's funny because you have a very interesting mix there of people looking into the platform side of things more developers that want to develop things on top, so they need to understand a little bit more about architecture and best practices. And then you have, of course, the, the infrastructure people that it's very deep down into you know, how to configure Kubernetes for running on-prem, for example, how do you configure storage and all these things. And with all that mix, uh, we have kind of like gained a lot of knowledge all over the years to keep you know, sharing all these uh, lessons learned uh, with, with, the wider, with the wider audience. How are you partnering with Linode? Tell me a bit about that association. Yeah, so uh, with the Linode team, basically what we have been doing is a set of webinars where we explain certain projects into the CNCF space and the cloud native space in general that always had that focus. How do we save people time into their day-to-day -day jobs, right? So I did a, a webinar about Jenkins X, which is CI CD for Kubernetes. It's a pretty complex open source project that tries to solve the CI CD problem like continuous integration continuous delivery, making sure that you can go from source to having a service uh, run up and running, you know, in, in a Kubernetes cluster, making that whole experience transparent uh, for people, for developers, basically. And uh, I did a webinar, like, like took like me 20 minutes to install all the things inside Linode, inside their Kubernetes managed service, and to have a service up and running from code, like from source code to, to, to Kubernetes, right? So I, Basically, the main thing that I, I wanted people to take away from it is that it's complicated to do all the things separately, but there are all these open source projects that can help you to go faster. The second webinar that I did, it was uh, about Knative, and Knative is a project that it's not in CNCF, but it's pretty popular in the cloud native community. And again, this provides another set of abstractions to communicate services using events, for example, without uh, pushing developers to think too much about how the infrastructure is configured you know, in, in their servers. And again, once again, the focus there was to share these tools to speed up people and to give some hands-on on technology that they can basically go create a new Kubernetes cluster in Linode and then have an example up and running that they can use to you know, replicate into their applications. So most of the time is generating content like that and sharing what we have learned you know, uh, from experience. Are these the only course that you're offering for Linode or there are going to be more courses in the pipeline that you can talk about? Uh, there are more things coming, nothing that I can advertise right now, but there, like, there was a couple of them about machine learning as well. And I totally recommend you to check that out from, from Salman, another instructor from LearnCates. And uh, yeah, and I think that there will be more collaborations around like foundations. I'm a part of a foundation that it's called the CD Foundation, the Continuous Delivery Foundation. And I'm trying to gather cloud providers, different vendors and different open source projects so we can all discuss and share ideas about how to 
you know, push the industry forward? How can we make sure that we have the right tools for delivering software more efficiently? And uh, I invite people usually to join like cd.foundation because it's a perfect place to go there and, you know, share your experiences, see how different projects into, you know, into the CNCF space are doing continuous integration and continuous delivery, how they can interact, how they can interop and uh, join these groups that basically, you know, try to solve some of the challenges that you will face when you try to use more than one uh, solution for, for your day-to-day -day project. If you look at the courses that you offer, uh, while, you know, what is the, is there any minimal requirement for an engineer or person who's interested in, you know, uh, learning from this course? It is open for everybody. Hey, it doesn't really matter. Or it's like, hey, you should know at least this much to benefit from this course. That is number one. Number two is, what is the best way to take advantage of these courses? Yeah, well, that's uh, two very good questions. So for the first one, the minimal requirements, if you are a developer or if you are an engineer, like a platform engineer or like a system architect, you can definitely benefit from it. There are not too many technical requirements besides, you know, like understanding how software is built in general and the most common tools like using a terminal, for example, to interact with Kubernetes. Uh, in the training course, we definitely share all these tips and we usually have guides that basically will guide you step by step on how to do all these exercises and how to learn step by step by doing, right? Like running against a running like a live Kubernetes cluster or uh, bootstrapping your own Kubernetes cluster in your machine with virtual machines and that kind of stuff. The best way to take advantage of these courses is the first one is look into LearnGates in Twitter because that's where we advertise uh, all the public training courses that you can join. Uh, we have free material as well in learnkits.io where you can just go and definitely do some workshops on your own, on your own time. But feel free to reach out in Twitter at Salavoy or in LearnKids. Uh, we are just a bunch of people, a bunch of instructors that likes to help people, like to collaborate. And we all work in open source projects, so we tend to be super available to mentor people as well. If they're interested in learning, that's pretty much what you need. And if you look at these courses that are available on demand at Linode, is that just like, you know, you read the course and you're done, or there is some hands-off experience where you can run some Kubernetes instances on Linode server and actually go and try it out? What is the, how does the course look like? Yeah, so the course is basically uh, showing step-by-step -step how to run applications or how to install software, in this case, Knative or Jenkins X. You can install that on Linode. Linode gives you a free account, like uh, some credits for you to create Kubernetes clusters, which is awesome. So you can go there and actually interact with the real cluster that it's provisioned in their servers. So it's not something that you run in your laptop. It's something that's running remotely that you can connect and you can try real life software on top of it. The course that we are providing there, the webinars, basically will show you some examples that you can clone from GitHub and then just deploy into the Linode instances. So after you, know, after you finish that, you have real life experience on how to work with all these technologies and hopefully you feel less scared about the overwhelming amount of things uh, that you need to understand in order to, to get these things uh, working. Mauricio, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about not only this course that you're offering through Linode, but also uh, about Kubernetes, the challenges, uh, some misconceptions and how to get started. Thank you for your time today and I would love to have you back again on the show. Thank you. Thank you very much. I would love to join again. So let's stay in touch.